Hey guys, today I have for you a tutorial. The point of the tutorial is to use bronzers, blushes, and highlighters as eye eyeshadows. I used a bronzer that I pretty much have hit pan on that I can't really use as a bronzer anymore so I was like well what could I use it as and I figured that I could just use this as a crease or transition color. I have the Coralista by Benefit and it is just a really pretty shimmery pinky um, perfect for summer blush and I use this on the lid. What's up highlighter and I use this as my brow um, highlight and my just my brow colors so I hope you guys find this useful and enjoy um I have been wearing this look a lot lately so I just figured that I would share sorry about the lighting it looks like it's about to storm I hope it doesn't but and also I have this a such cute shirt on and I just wanted to show you guys it is by time Los Angeles and it says you can't blend with us oh my god like is that not the cutest thing ever I just thought I had to show you guys that and it is such amazing quality um um, yeah, check them out on Instagram. That's how I found them. But I'm just gonna jump into the tutorial. So bye guys. Hope you enjoy. Starting off, I prime my lids with my Holy Grail Too Faced Shadow Insurance, of course. I am then applying Hoola Benefit Bronzer as a crease or transition color. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply that. And I'm just blending that out making sure it looks perfect and all that good stuff. I personally wanted my crease to be a little bit darker so I'm taking the Bedhead 4 Play palette and I am using the darkest color and then I'm taking a pointy fluffy type of brush and I'm just going to put that into my crease you know to just make it look a lot more defined I personally enjoy that look a lot more and then I'm also kind of dragging it down to where my lower lash line starts to give a little bit of a a wing look with the shadow after that I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just blending everything out because you know you always gotta blend blend your makeup after that, I'm taking the Coralista Blush by Benefit, and I'm using a kind of like a flat shader type of brush. It came with the Naked 3 palette, and I'm just going to be packing this all over my lid as my lid color. It is very pink and shimmery and just pretty. After that, I'm just taking the same brush that I used to define my crease a little bit more, and then I'm taking the darkest color in the Foreplay palette that I used as the color to define my crease, and I'm just dragging it down across my lower lash line. And then after that, I'm just taking the same brush that I used to pack on the Coralista blush, but you could use any brush. Bl you could use any brush, excuse me, and just blend out that lower lash line. Then I'm taking the lightest color in the Four Play palette, which is just kind of like a powdery white, and I'm using that as a highlight right below my brows, and I'm also using it to highlight my inner corners. Then I'm using What's Up by Benefit, and I'm just going over my brow highlight. To do my liner, I'm using the Too Faced 3-Way Lash Lining Tool, but I only use this to do the wing part of my liner. And then after that, I go in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, and I fill in where my inner corner is. You'll see in the video. It's kind of hard to explain, but I just use the two different liners together because the 3-Way Lash Lining Tool is really good for getting the wing perfect, and then the Stila Stay All Day Liner is good for getting in your inner corner and making a thin line. Okay. 
After the liner, I just went ahead and did my lashes and put on my lipstick and gloss. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you find this useful and try it out. I thought it was a really good idea just to be able to use your blushes and bronzers as something else. Kind of like multi-purpose items. So anyways, um, please leave in a comment if you have any questions. Bye guys.